hello Virgo viewers. So last reading I did, I got that um, an ex is going to be possibly coming back, but that you might want to move forward from it instead because there was somebody new that was coming in that, you know, was better for you. So let's see. It seems like a lot of earth signs are actually in that energy of, um, of change and, and uh, transition right now regarding their love lives and regarding um, other aspects of their lives too. So let's see where you're at with your love life now. Virgos, let's see. Where are you guys at? What is going on with your love life? What is going on with your love life? Temperance, the star, that's good. Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So I think this reading is talking a lot about your ability to manifest for yourself. Um, and this is a potent time of manifestation for you with the temperance and the star here. You know, I'm drawn to, you might be drawn to water signs right now, or there's something about water, like water bath rituals, or like a, like a trip to the ocean or a lake, something, something regarding water for you guys right now. Um, with temperance, it's like you're finding a balance. You're letting something go, and you're planting these seeds and kind of going inward and figuring out what you want and you're manifesting what you want, you know, you're, you're planting these seeds and with the nine of wands, it's like, look how strong and confident she is. This is like the final bout battle. It's like, there's some obstacles, but you're strong and you, you believe in yourself and you're confident and you know that you're going to win in the end. Um, and you, you know, you're with the star here, you're just, you're planting those seeds for some of you. See, I think this reading is all about you manifesting the love that you want I think for some of you, this could be somebody that was like unstable in the past, like they were kind of in and out and they wouldn't commit to you. And like with this energy here, I almost get like you gave them an ultimatum or, um, you know, you manifested them back and you're manifesting them treating you better than they did before. Like you're, you're kind of, you you have stronger boundaries. You're not letting them walk all over you again. You're, you're being more strict. You're, you're, you know letting them know it's, you know, your way or the highway that they can either treat you well or they can get out. And so they're left and they have to, they're left with that and they have to make that choice. Do they want to, you know, treat you right or do they want to lose you for good? Because um, this ultimatum that you've, you're giving them or you're about to give them, it's very serious and they know that, they know they just can't screw around or they gonna, they're going to lose you for real this time. It's like whatever you're doing is kind of if that's your story, because there's two different stories here. For, for some of you, it's this, it's this past person that didn't treat you well in the past. And it's like they know, like with your energy or what you're saying or doing right now, whatever it is, they just have this fear right now that they're going to lose you, that they're about to lose you if they don't step up. Um, for others, I think that you manifested a new person because um, there's a lot of third party energy in this reading. So for, for, for the other group, I feel like you manifested a new person. Like you, you thought about what you wanted and you planted those seeds of, you know, what you want your idol partner to look like, you know, maybe, maybe different manifestation techniques and that kind of thing. You, you planted these seeds about what you want out of a relationship, out of love, what you expect, what your boundaries are. Um, and, you know, you're strong and confident even when, you know, things come to test your faith. You, you stay in your power. You, um, you're staying strong. And with the two of cups, you know, you do have like a soulmate or twin flame relationship coming in that's, you know, loving and, and peaceful and stable. You know, when you have this knight of swords here, this is somebody that, um, I feel like this is somebody that's very, it's like a strong masculine energy, basically. It's like, you see how he's, look at him. I mean, 
look what he's doing. He's got his, his wolf next to him. He's got his sword. He's like making this vow. It's like he's making this promise that if this is, you know, if this is your ex and this is like making that promise that, you know, he's he or she is going to treat you better this time around, that they're not going to make the mistakes of the past, that they're, you know, going to put the relationship first for a change, that they're going to stop being so selfish and they're going to be more mindful of your feelings and your needs too. Um, this is like an open, honest communication and making compromises with each other. And then for those of you that, that are, you know, manifesting, where, you know, you're done with the ex, you're tired of that shit and you're manifesting this new person. Um, this is very, you know, similar energy where it's like somebody who's very, you know, he's got a lot of honor and integrity. He's making his vows that he's not going to hurt you in the same way your exes did, that he's going to be better for you, that he's, he's going to be loyal to you. Um, could even be like giving you a promise ring or something, but he's just making this kind of oath where it's like, he's a very, I don't want to say he's a serious man, but he's, um, he takes his promises and oaths, uh, very seriously. He takes his He's very, uh, I think, responsible and accountable for his actions. Like he, he, um, he's very mindful of, of what he says and does. You know what I mean? Like if he promises to do something, this is the type of man that's gonna stick to that promise um, and do the right thing, even when it's hard for him to. He's always gonna want to do the right thing. And with the see so the three of wands, three of pentacles, and the hangman here. See, I noticed the three. So I always intuitively read the cards, and so you know, it's it's. That's how, that's, you know, how I read. I just, I channel primarily. So to me, I'm looking at the threes. I'm not even looking at the pictures in this particular reading. I'm looking at the numbers. And with the hangman here, um, I feel like, let's see, what do we have here? Three of wands, three of pentacles. Yeah, with the hangman... With the hangman, you're you guys are letting go. This connection is you're letting go of a third party. See, that's the like that's the number three. So this could be. See, a third party energy does not necessarily always mean a person. It's just third party. Just a lot of times it does mean a person. Like for the most part, it does. You know, usually like when I do my third party specific readings on YouTube, you most like I'm I'm referring to another person, but um. But yeah, third party could be like a work situation or a family situation or just any outside energy that um, affected your you know ability to to be together and to just be happy and communicate well. So anything that was blocking you guys from being together um, is being removed. So for some of you, I feel like this person was like devoted to themselves. This is so for those of you that if this is like your ex and it's like this person was just too devoted to themselves and work and whatever else, and just like kind of not making time for you, and that work situation is ending, or that family situation is ending, or whatever it is that was splitting you guys apart is ending now, like they're letting go of that, and they're choosing you instead, and they're putting your relationship first. Um, for others of you, I think that it could be a third-party person where, you know, your ex was with somebody else, and... Now they're letting that person go and coming back to you, um, or you were with somebody else and you're letting them go, or um, it could also be if this is if this isn't your ex, if this because there's two different stories here. Like I said, for some of you, it's your ex coming back. For others of you, this is a new person that's coming in and you've already let go of the ex and you don't want the ex anymore and you're manifesting the new love now. Um, so for some of you, it's like uh, if this is your ex and it's like um, they're letting go of someone that they were talking to or you're letting go of someone that you're talking to and you're committing to them instead. Um, and for those of you that are manifesting a new person, this is about, you know, this is saying, you know, confirming you're letting go of the ex or that the new person coming in maybe was in a third party situation and they're letting go of the third party. So it's just somebody, take it how it resonates. It's, you know, each story is going to be like a little bit different when it comes to this right here, but it's, it's somebody's letting go of a third party. So whether it's you or them, somebody's, yeah, there's, there's that shift there. And it kind of seems like you just, you manifested the love you want and you're open to what form it comes in. You know what I mean? I think that you're not like set on it being the ex. You're not set on it being a new person. I think that you're just getting to a point where you're like, you know what, it's my turn for love. It's my time. Um, whether it's with this person or it's with somebody new. Uh, it's, it's, you know, love is manifesting for me now and you are manifesting it. So if you're using affirmations, a vision board, whatever it might be, um, it's, it's working for you for sure. It is, it is coming in, you know, and I think that you know that I think that sometimes you have your doubts, but you're very strong. 
um, in your, your faith in yourself. So, it's, so yeah, you know it's coming in. And let's see what else we can get. So we got that there is a third party being let go of, but show me, let's see. Show me what happens after um, one or both of you let go of this, this third party situation, be it, a, be it a person, be it a job, whatever it was that was holding you back from your person or holding them back from you. Once I let go of it, what's, what's going on in this relationship? Show me that energy. Show me what the love story is after all that happens. Confidence, success, it's good. Meditation, high priestess of water, focus, wishing, forbidden, and vision. See, there's a lot of water energy in this reading. So for some of you, I think you might be dating a water sign, uh, like P Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or your new person could be. Um, for others, it could just be an emphasis on water energy, like, you know, healing and emotional depth and, you know, purity, clarity, just the, the energies that water holds for you. So I think that you, I think this group has psychic abilities or you're also into witchcraft or you're, um, you just, there's like this strong, uh, intuitive energy here. Cause I do feel like a lot of you have manifested love in your lives and you know, maybe you're just, maybe it's a new perfume you're wearing. Maybe it's just new energy that you have. Maybe you have, you know, new passions or hobbies that you've been exploring lately, or you've been a little bit more confident lately, or you've been doing something differently that's getting, you know, your your desired um you know sex to to recognize you more uh but i think a lot of you are conscious of manifesting this love so i do i get the energy of like vision boards and affirmations and you know writing down what you want in a person in a partner um that's that kind of energy because see we have confidence and success here like your confidence your faith in yourself your you know you see this woman with the horse it's like your faith in yourself, your um, your your courage, your ability to be a powerful manifester is, is leading you to success, you know, and you might be doing this through meditation, through um, just like visualizations, affirmations, meditation, you know, connecting to spirit. I also think this energy is really telepathically affecting your person. Um, because see, here we have this focus on water energy. So again, it's like healing. It could just be, you know, you're focused on healing and depth and clarity. You know, you're putting this strong focus on getting the answers that you need. Um, and for others, it's, it's you know, focusing on a water sign. And I think in the past, I think you're realizing, I think, you know, one, either your person or you thought this relationship was forbidden in the past. Um and, you know, maybe it was because maybe there was a third party. Maybe it's like your energy was blocked because you were talking to somebody else or their energy was blocked because there was somebody else in the picture. Now that person's being taken away so you guys can be together. And in the past, it's like this person was just like wishing they could talk to you. Like they were just dreaming and they were wanting to talk to you, um, but they weren't really, they weren't really, um, coming forward it was just kind of like just just dreaming just waiting just hoping that something would happen but it's like it was forbidden in the physical realm for some reason maybe you guys were like astrally telepathically picking up on each other but it's like for some reason you felt like you couldn't message them or they felt like they couldn't message you there was just some kind of block there that um you know made it feel like it, there's just this forbidden relationship for whatever reason but they're they're you know 
we got meditation and vision here. And so it's like you guys are, are intuitive now. You're using your vision. Um, you might be getting visions. You might be having dreams about them. They might be having dreams about you. Um, you might just be like in a meditative state, but it's like you guys are seeing more clearly now, like with this water energy that's around you guys right now. It's like things are just being cleared out and away from you. Um, anything that was holding you back is being cleared away, and it's like you can just see more clearly now. And, you know, you guys are realizing that this relationship is not forbidden. Maybe it was before, but it's not anymore. You're realizing that you don't have to just wish that you guys actually need to talk and that you can have this. So, so yeah, there's you're in a transition period right now, and it's, it looks really good for your love life from what I'm seeing. So if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.